Welcome back to another episode of AminoAcidStudies.org. Today we'll be talking about the benefits of BCAAs, branched chain amino acids, which are three amino acids grouped together in this group of BCAAs, which are extremely popular with um, strength athletes and sports persons really of any type because they are particularly beneficial in building muscle tissue. But um, more of that in a minute. If you want to learn more about amino acids in general, please visit our homepage aminoacidstudies.org and uh, do browse around the individual amino acids and their individual benefits. So the amino acids here, the most popular ones, there are 21 of them. Here we're covering about uh, 15 or 16 and there's a number of benefits here which we have explained in detail. But back to BCAAs, there are three of them. Um, this group consists of three amino acids called L-valine, L-leucine and L-isoleucine. Now, um, they are, like I said, particularly beneficial for building muscle tissues, but there's a whole lot of benefits associated with that. Um, the three of them are explained here in the top of the article. And the one amino acid that's particularly associated with muscle building is leucine. So do keep that in mind. That is probably the single most important muscle building amino acid that you will ever come across. Um, that is why leucine is also um, concentrated much higher than the other amino acids, even within BCAA compounds. So when you buy a BCAA supplement, for example, they are usually dosed at 2 to 1 to 1, leucine to valine to isoleucine. That is because leucine is always concentrated higher because it is so beneficial in building muscle tissue. Now, going into the benefits specifically here, BCAAs enhance the muscle protein synthesis for greater hypertrophy, which means growth of muscle and maintenance of lean muscle mass. Yes, so we covered that already because leucine in particular is, is very effective at doing this. Going further, leucine and rich BCAAs makes us enhance muscle building for older trainees. So because you are giving your body the nutrients to build muscle tissue specifically, this benefits more older trainees than younger trainees just because older people tend to lose muscle tissue uh, faster statistically than younger people. Very simple stuff. BCAAs increase fat burning. Again, leucine and glucose tolerance, isoleucine for leaner body composition. So the uh, glucose tolerance is very interesting because this also reduces your risk of um, diabetes. We'll cover that in a minute. BCAAs improve hormone balance for greater strength, power and endurance because they increase testosterone. Testosterone uh, generally is a bit of a fountain of youth, specifically for the male body, obviously also for females, although to a much lesser extent, just because it keeps your arteries young, it keeps your heart young and pumping, it, it increases your um, muscle tissue it does have some side effects. Do your own research on this. So I would never recommend increasing testosterone artificially, but it is extremely beneficial to have a healthy testosterone level for general arterial health and a, um, a very good body composition, i.e. lots of fat tissue, sorry, lots of muscle tissue and very little fat tissue. Uh, BCAAs improve strength development. That is because if you do do strength training, BCAAs help you recover very much, which is covered in the next point. They increase strength endurance and decrease fatigue because they help elevate ATP levels, which is the most important energy molecule in the body. And uh, that's why you will have decreased fatigue. You'll be able to exercise longer, stronger, and more powerfully, which ultimately gives a stronger, more intense stimulus on, on the muscle and helps it to grow because you work it out more, which means you damage the muscle fibers, which means you recover stronger and you overcompensate in your recovery. recovery that means you build muscle tissue um, as a result of that. It, in, in, it preserves the integrity of muscle fibers. It reduces muscle catabolism, yes, degradation, especially when you overtrain. Many, um, let's say, 
marathon athletes do this or just people who go to the gym far too long and far too uh, often but they don't give their body the time to recover that's when you actually lose muscle because the muscle can't repair itself in time before it gets hit on again by intensive exercise bcaa improves insulin we've covered this already and uh, increases the metabolic rate again very beneficial for your health it has anti-aging properties because it's used in several treatment strategies. Again, increasing testosterone is very good anti-aging for your cardiovascular system, in particular reducing the risk of strokes and heart attacks. And ultimately, it is thought that BCAAs improve cognition um, because you ultimately, when you work out more, you provide more stimulus throughout your body and you have much more of a healthy balance between exercise and life. And this is research that was done on older people, and um, which has shown that when older people exercise, they are also generally more switched on. So foods with BCAAs is another part that's covered here. Do read through that. In general, it is mostly meat. So meats, chicken, fish, lamb, obviously beef. For health reasons, we would recommend to stick mostly with white meat and anyway, whole meat as well. Uh, make sure that it's organic as much as you can, that it's sustainably caught fish, for example, and um, then you should be fine. There's another section here on uh, going into more detail of the different benefits. And finally, there's a conclusion here. Generally, we would recommend to take a BCAA supplement. Uh, it's normally good to take more, uh, as many as you can. We would recommend up to uh, 5 to 10 grams per day, which will give you several grams of each of the three amino acids. Um, obviously, don't take too many. 5 to 10 grams is absolutely fine. You can you can stay in the lower limit if you um, do not exercise. If you do exercise, say, more than three to four times a week, then we would recommend to stay in the upper end of that range, so towards seven to 10 grams per day. So we hope that's useful. You've enjoyed this. Uh, do visit us on YouTube, Facebook, Google+. Plus. Have a look around the website. We hope you've benefited. Thank you very much. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next episode.